Misrata's main square. Every night there are games, skits, and music, all to entertain the city's children. During the months of fighting between supporters and opponents of Muammar Gaddafi, the people of Misrata endured shelling, rocket fire, and sniper attacks. Some 2,000 were killed, and 6,000 were wounded. The violence left many children traumatized, some unable to speak, others unable to sleep because of nightmares. Mahmoud Abu Dabus is an electrician and father of three. He and other volunteers organize nightly festivities to lift the children's spirits. Initially, they paid for everything themselves, but now they get support from businesses and civic groups. It all started one day when I brought some big speakers and put some Quranic verses and the National Song of Libya. I saw that the children were coming around, so I decided to make time for the kids. Ali Shina brings his children here every night. He says it helps take their minds off what they experienced. During the fighting, you see, the children are buzzing. During the fighting, the children were in a bad situation, crying. They were afraid. They stopped eating. They weren't aware where their father is. Abu Dabu says the children were also exposed to graphic images of the violence on television. This aggravated their stress. So we are bringing the kids here just to play and forget about the war. We want to forget the war and forget about Gaddafi forever. Seven-year-old Leila sings about Misrata's ordeal. The children are looking forward to the start of the new school year. Their parents are too. They hope it will ease the bad memories that they fear could last a lifetime. Scott Bob, VOA News, Misrata.